What's up YouTube? How are you doing today? Trying to do your techno dad here and in this video I'm going to be talking about short HDMI cables and what they can do for your system's performance. So we're going to check it out right after the jump. And I'm back. Now this is my first video after the Hi-Fi Summit. For those of you that went and paid Thank you guys so much. We truly appreciate it. Um, what the heck was that hand motion? I don't know. Anyway, it was a great time. You know, we had a lot of fun in the VIP area. We had fun in the regular area too. And of course, the, you know, the after parties DJed by yours truly here were awesome. I still have my lights and my fog machine up in here. I don't know if they're going to actually go anywhere and they're just going to hang out. And um, maybe I'll use them for every of one of my Saturday DJ streams. Anyway, it was a lot of fun. And if you guys missed out on the seminars, like they were totally, totally techie. And I put a link down in the description to each seminar days like the playlist so you guys can check it out if you missed any okay so quick little backstory this company hit me up about making a review video about hdmi cables and i don't really do that kind of thing but i did have an idea about talking about shorter hdmi cables so i figured hey why don't you guys send me some cool looking cables and i can show to my viewers and i personally want a full new set so this is a sponsored video. The company's called Snow Kids and they make this cool looking flat HDMI cable. Now it is 4K, UHD, HDR, and it does support HDMI ARC as well as HDMI eARC. And I think the cool part about them is that they just look cool and they're flat. So this is kind of like what they look like. So we'll get into the cables more and how I set up everything but let's talk about the conversation I had with Phil Jones about HDMI cables. Well, about shorter HDMI cables. So here's the gist of the situation. If you are experiencing dropouts, like you're losing picture or you're losing audio, if you are experiencing audio video sync issues, this could be due to the length of your HDMI cables, especially if you're using an audio video receiver. What do I mean by this? Well, Normally, we get like a two meter HDMI cable with like a gaming console. I know the Xbox One X, they came with their own HDMI cables. The Oppo 203 came with one, the PS4 Pro came with one. The problem is they're all those two meter cables, which are about six and a half feet, a little bit more. And then that goes to the AVR. And then from the AVR, I have like a six and a half foot cable that goes to the TV. So that signal is actually traveling uh, 13 feet just about, a little bit over, a little bit over 13 feet because the HDMI port in your AV receiver is not a repeater. It's it's almost just like a, a connector. So you're just connecting the two and that's it. So if you were having any issues, my recommendation, and this is also what Phil told me, is to shorten the distance from the AVR to the TV. And that way, you're cutting down the distance from all of your source material going into the AVR and then to the TV. So for the AVR to the TV, I was able to shorten that with a three foot cable. I shortened the Xbox One X cable to a three foot cable. I shortened the Apple TV 4K and the Roku Ultra cables to one foot cables. And unfortunately, due to the way my TV center is hooked up, the cable box and the Oppo 203 are on the far side. So those are still running six foot cables, but at least they're only traveling nine feet in total as opposed to the 13 from before. Even though I didn't have problems with the Oppo 203, I did have issues with lip sync specifically with the LG UBK90 and the Sony X700 4K Blu-ray players. Now that could have easily been figured out if I was using shorter HDMI cables or I was going directly to the TV. I'm not 100% sure and I can't test them out. But if you guys are having issues like this with those types of players, maybe try switching out to a shorter cable from your AVR to your TV or from your player to your TV, whichever setup you have going on, try a shorter distance cable that might help you out. Now, Phil first mentioned this in a live stream for the Daily Hi-Fi podcast, which you guys, I'm sure you know, we do this every Monday, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Definitely make sure to mark your calendars for that on the Daily Hi-Fi channel now. So uh, I'll link to that in the description. You guys need to subscribe to that so you don't miss out. Anyway, Phil was talking about HDMI 2.1 and all that kind of stuff. 
And that's how he mentions, you know, briefly about shorter cables actually help your system perform better because we're not just adding the distances together. So, you know, 6.6 .6 feet plus 6.6 .6 feet, we got 13 feet of cable that you know signal is gonna gonna be going a long way so i thought that was pretty cool when he mentioned that so i got on the phone with him a couple of weeks ago and it just so happens in that time frame this company hit me up about it so basically what's happened is they've given me a full set of these cables they're braided they're flat so they look super cool and since this is a sponsored video we're doing a giveaway so one lucky winner is going to win six of these cables so they can get a fresh new setup you know nice new look and you know I, i'm a sucker for braided cables and I do know that they all look good matching together on the back of the AVR here. So I think that it's totally cool that they wanted to do this giveaway. And you can check out their cables. Link is down in the description. It's a 4K UHD cable with Ethernet. So again, it does support eARC, which I tested last week because I actually bought one of their cables before the big shipment of cables arrived so I could test it out. And I mean, it's a cable, it either works or it doesn't. So one of the advantages of having all matching HDMI cables that are flat and braided is that I can look at them and know exactly where they're going. I know what components are plugged into what. I don't need to have little uh, flags on them, you know, identifying where they're coming from because it's easy to spot even in the cluttered mess that is behind my rack. Now, I did not clean or wipe down anything because hashtag show us your junk. You know, for those that know, Oh, they know. Anyway, it was really cool that this company wanted to hook me up with all these cables and hook one of you guys up with a bunch of cables. So let's talk about the giveaway right now. Normally I would do a Gleam giveaway, but this one's gonna be a little bit different. Now they have the cable, so I'm not shipping them. So this is an international giveaway. What you're gonna wanna do to enter the giveaway is just comment. And there's this cool site that's called the Random Comment Picker. It's, I have, I have no idea who comes up with this stuff. It's pretty hilarious. So I just type in the URL or copy paste the URL of the video and hit pick a comment and it randomly picks a comment and that's how we're gonna choose our winner. So that's how the giveaway is gonna go. I think you're gonna win six cables and I believe the company is called Snow Kids and they are also giving like a discount code if you just wanna buy the cables or if you try the giveaway and it doesn't work, definitely check them out. Link is down in the description. I like them, they look cool and they work. They do what they need to do. They handle HDMI arc and they handle HDMI eARC. These are 18 gigabit per second cables, so high speed HDMI cables, not ultra high speed HDMI cables you might need for HDMI 2.1 or 8K sources or 4K 120, all that kind of stuff is a different type of cable. This is for everybody that doesn't have 8K, not really worried about 8K. Do you really need 8K cables right now? Probably not, unless you have an 8K TV and a new console or a gaming PC, then you probably don't need a cable. And in which case you would only need one at that point in time anyway. So what have we learned here? Shorter HDMI cables will help with audio video dropouts, audio video sync issues. So if you're having those issues with your 4K Blu-ray player or your you know, streaming box, whatever the situation is, try to shorten it up as much as possible. I know it's really tough. I really liked using that six foot cable from the AVR to the TV because I could use the built-in, you know, cable management on the back of the LG E9, but whatever, I'll just have a system that's performing better than ever because now my streaming boxes only travel four feet. My Xbox One X only travels four feet and the cable box and the Oppo 203 only travel nine feet as opposed to the 13 from the previous setup. So let me know what you guys think about it. Is that something you ever thought about, you know, making your system better by having shorter HDMI cables? Like it was a very quick moment in that live stream when Phil mentioned it and I was just like, oh my gosh, that's like a game changer, you know, especially for some people. So I went ahead and did it. Do I notice anything right now? Not really because my system was on par, but if you have these kinds of issues, definitely think about getting shorter HDMI cables. If you have questions about this or anything else, let me know down in the comments below or hit me up on social or email, whichever you like to use. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, go ahead, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel using the button in the middle of your screen. Once again, my name is Chana D. I'm your techno dad and I'll see you next time.